By clinching the Constructors' World Championship with four races to go, it's quite clear that one car was head and shoulders above the rest in Formula 1 in 2019 the Mercedes W10. Earlier this month, I got the opportunity to drive this very car. But first, a trip to Brackley. I've come to Mercedes today to have a seat fit in the 2019 W10. When the phone rang and they said, would you like to have a go in Lewis's car? I thought somebody was joking. The next thing I know, I had an email from Mercedes arranging the date for a seat fit and a simulator session and a time with their engineers to learn about all the controls on the steering wheel and stuff. So it's going to be a busy day at the factory, um, but most importantly, we're going to have a go next week. Let's go in. I first came here when this place was called BAR. It's changed a bit. I think the, the column position is actually okay. You know, where my arms are, I'm quite happy yeah. with that. This little padding there is quite nice, actually, for the lower back support. We'll be running a Strat 7 when you're on track. I'll always give you the okay. Strat 7 just before you get to the final corner. Just switch over. Okay, I think we're, I think we're there. That was actually one of my easier seat fits. I've been at seat fit sometimes, it's just taken 12, 14 hours. But fortunately, I fit straight into Valtteri's seat, which was surprisingly comfortable. Living all the padding he's got for his back and shoulders was, was spot on. Um, Lewis's his pedals were a bit close, so I've got Esteban Ocon's pedals and Lewis's steering wheel and column. So we've got a bit, bit of a mixed match, but we made it work and I'm comfy in there. So yeah, very happy. Every simulator is just a little bit different. This is, I feel like I'm getting into Anthony's domain, really. He pretty much lives in this room from what I hear. I could not believe how much grip it's got in the high speed. It's got me even more excited, to be honest, to have a go on the real thing, because I saw Lewis's qualifying laps and his amazing fast lap of the race, and I just couldn't believe the car could have so much grip through Beckett's. Now having driven the sim, it's just astonishing. So. Uh, yeah, it's wet my appetite a bit more for next week. I'm strapped in. The guys have put the tyres on with the blankets. Um, the car is going to get fired up and then away I go for an installation lap. So just a system check, get everything a little bit warm. It's a cold day today at Silverstone. It's only eight degrees, so it's, uh, it's going to take a little while to get everything up to temperature. Radio check, radio check. Loud and clear. All right, the engine's fired up into first gear. Okay, so Okay, just doing the insulation laps now. The car feels so together. We're all wet just to build up a bit of temperature. Just a beautifully built car. There's no rattling, there's no strange vibrations. You feel at one, the whole car feels so at one. So we've done the installation laps now, we've taken the wets off, we're going to put some slick tyres on it. We've changed some of the settings for, for this next run. So typically with the morning cars, with the hybrid, you need to charge it up on the out laps as well as the in lap before you come into the pits and then you get that chunk of running in the middle where you can use the full deployment. So uh, yeah, there's a lot more complexities involved with these hybrid cars compared to the V8s. Push the engine to Strat 6, this should now give me full power. The driver's 
quality. It's unbelievable of this engine. The Mercedes has been the benchmark in terms of traction. And I can see why. I just can't believe how good this is at the right thing. <laughs> this is just immense. It's so hard to fold this car. End of the first run. That's just blown away. Oh my god, that was just incredible. I mean, the car's got so much grip. In the fast corners, I can keep turning the wheel and the front end just go. A real eye opener into what a truly amazing car can do. I'll tell you what, I'll be lucky to drive six world championship winning cars in my career. But this is just the best race car I have ever driven. This car is just so beautifully balanced. It took nearly a thousand people to do 7,000 bespoke drawings for this car. It took them 16 months to design it. But my God, have they designed a beast. Parking box, box. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank you, that was just an incredible experience. My God. Thank you very much, everybody. Really, really enjoyed that. Thank you. That was just unbelievable. I could not believe how good the car was on the brakes, into the slow speed and traction. In the high speed, I expected it to be good, but it was the traction and the slow speed that was just immense. Fantastic experience.